It's called Reverse Space Invader. Cool. So that's why we have the little shooter thing and a joystick and then a button that this guy's pressing and he's shooting people. So is there something we can do to communicate that? Because we weren't yeah. quite reading that as this was a joystick that they were controlling. They're doing something here which is putting that in danger. Is there a way we can tie that into what's going on? I think it's really cool. Work on the wires. Right. Well, Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank you. Good job, guys. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. All right. Bye. That is so cool. Yeah. Welcome back. That was a look at the competition show Play Doh Squished on Amazon Freebie, where three teams compete in challenges that test their creative skills with the guidance of the show's resident Play Doh expert. That's a real job, Play Doh expert. <laughs> our minds so are blown today, right now. Yes, we are learning how to make our own Play Doh creations. And here to break it down for us is sculptor extraordinaire and Play Doh expert Jason Lloyd. Jason, we're so excited to have you here. Thank you for this is me. wild because this is all Play Doh. All of it. Like, All of it. unbelievable. We can't stop touching it. How did you become a Play-Doh expert, and what's the craziest thing you've ever made? Oh, well, I've worked with Hasbro for about 15 years now as a toy sculptor, making all kind of prototypes for them. And very early on, I worked within the Play-Doh department. So what are you going to show us here? So today, we're going to make a few things. We have a charcuterie board, and I want to bring in the New Year's festive holiday here okay. with an idea for a centerpiece that you can have at your New Year's Eve party. So what we're going to do is I want to show you a few simple things that you can do at home with your kids and just step up your Play-Doh game and really uh, bring in a few great items that we can do. So okay. what we're going to do here, we have a, a piece of rolled out Play-Doh mm -hmm. and we're going to turn this into cheese triangles, okay? okay? So everybody at home has a ruler kicking around and the idea here is the what we want to do, instead of trying to pull a tool through Play-Doh, the best way to get a nice clean mm. cut is to push straight down. See, this okay. is why yep. you're an expert. Exactly. <laughs> and we're going to go into quarters and then eighths, just like a pizza. And there we go. And the trick to this is you want to pull that ruler so it doesn't get too wobbly. Pull it in either direction so you get a nice clean straight oh, line. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we can take these, add them right to our, uh, to our little oh, board over here. You made that so easy. Oh, yeah. And you guys, perfect. So then over here, we're gonna make some bread. Look at how, like, it's unbelievable. <sighs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> how this looks like bread. So what we're gonna do is that the trick to a good bread is to actually give it a nice texture, right? Okay. Okay. So what we do, we're gonna take something that we have laying around the house, right? Whether it's a, a crochet hook, a pen, something like that. And what we wanna do is we wanna start out with making some large holes in this. Okay. And some of them can go all the way through, some, some big, some small. Do you small. prefer to work in your hand or on a table? Oh, I, I, well, I, I want to actually have some of these go all the way through, right? Okay. We want to we want to get that, make sure that you have those nice big bubbles in that bread. And you don't want yeah. them even. You don't want them to look perfect. That's exactly it, right? So this is natural, uneven, and that you can even play with different size instruments here. You know, you can oh. make them nice and big. And then here's the trick: is the texture. You can take either a sponge that's laying around, a nice sponge, and you can apply a nice texture oh, that is so right onto cool. there. Another option is just even a cloth. And the texture of the cloth, nice moist cloth, will transfer the texture right into the Play-Doh. You've got olives that you want to show us. Yes, olives. So the key to a good olive is a smooth finish, right? So I'll show you my patented technique here. Patented? Right? Yes. Well, not really. Oh, I'm but, <laughs> no. but there's never never before seen on TV. If uh -huh. you want to smooth out a ball of Play-Doh, what you do is you take your hands and you get them really tight and you want to get the, the skin on your palms nice and tight like a drum. Okay. And we're going to smooth it, smooth, 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 smooth. And the trick here is I'm not turning it into a ball. I'm, I'm making it into a nice little disc. Okay. And I really just... See, you got it. All, you got it. All of it. And then you turn that into a ball, or in this case, we'll do kind of that football shape, right? And now we have a nice, smooth wow. ball. Okay. And then we can take whatever's laying around the house, a nice pencil. And what we want to do is as we make this hole, we want to twist so that the Play-Doh doesn't stick to our pencil, yeah. right? Oh, okay. And there we go. And then on the other side, just give it a little, a little dot. And there we go. There's our, our olive all set and ready to go. From? You said give it a little dot. A little dot, yeah, yeah. That's a, <laughs> that's my, my New Hampshire. Yeah? Yeah. That is so this cool. This is really cool. Yeah. All right, the most fun we've had on this segment. Really? Oh, well, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Jason thank Lloyd, you. thank you so my much. Pleasure. The first seven episodes of Play-Doh Squish are now available to stream on Amazon Freebie, Freebie with new episodes available every Friday through February.
so exciting. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.